Prostate cancer is the most common type of cancer in men. In the next few minutes, we will present LDR brachytherapy as a therapy option for prostate cancer to make it easier for those affected to gain an overview of possible treatments. The prostate is a gland within the male reproductive system. For many men over 45 years of age, the prostate begins to grow in a healthy way. This growth, known as prostatic hyperplasia, is harmless but can cause early symptoms when urinating. However, the development of a tumour is more problematic. This change in the cell structure only causes symptoms at a late stage in the cause of the disease, but is always of a malignant nature with high risks for the patient. This attaches great importance to consistent prevention and early detection of the disease. If the tumour is classified as clinically significant, treatment should be carried out promptly. How the tumour is treated depends largely on how advanced the tumour is at the time of diagnosis. Depending on the PSA levels, Gleason score and findings on palpitation, the primary stage is low, intermediate or high grade. The following treatment methods are recommended. Active surveillance of the progression of the disease. The surgical removal of the prostate, prostatectomy. Radiation therapy, which can be provided as external radiation therapy or internal brachytherapy. In the following, we will take a closer look at LDR brachytherapy. Brachy means close and refers to the short distance between the radiation source and the tumour tissue. The radiation sources are applied directly at or in the tumour, which allows a high dose to be delivered to the tumour while sparing the surrounding healthy tissue. In LDR brachytherapy, small radioactive sources called seeds are permanently implanted in the prostate and thus directly into the tumour. In contrast to the nerve-preserving surgery, this procedure also easily allows the treatment of the area surrounding the prostate and thereby enables a significant improvement of the chances of recovery. Cancer cells react more sensitively to radioactivity than healthy cells and can be killed by exposure to radiation. The isotope iodine-125 is generally used for the seeds. It has a short half-life and emits the radiation into the surrounding tissue in low doses for a very limited time. By targetedly placing the seeds, the whole gland can be covered with the desired radiation dose. A special planning system is used to calculate the exact dose distribution. The calculation allows the treatment of the prostate while protecting the urethra, bladder and rectum as much as possible. In the following, we will take a closer look at the seed implantation procedure. After general anesthesia and the rectal insertion of an ultrasound probe, two fixation needles are placed to stabilize the prostate in the desired position for the treatment. The prostate and the surrounding tissue are then recorded in layers using the probe. With the help of the ultrasound images, the physician can determine the exact contours of the prostate and the surrounding regions. Based on the determined size and shape of the prostate and adjacent organs, the physician can now calculate the exact number of seeds required and their optimal positions within the prostate with the help of the treatment planning software. According to the treatment plan, seed chains, which are linked seeds, are then prepared and transferred into implantation needles. The radiation exposure of the medical staff during this step is low. The doctor guides the implantation needles into the prostate with the help of a guide called a template grid and inserts the seed chain through them. The exact positioning of the seeds is determined simultaneously with the help of ultrasound and, if necessary, fluoroscopy. The recommended prescription dose of 145 gray is administered precisely internally with a safety margin around the prostate. The risk of seed migration can be reduced to a minimum by using seed chains. The complete treatment takes about 50 to 70 minutes. The patient can be discharged and is fully mobile on the day of the treatment or the next day. 
Apart from the duration of the procedure, the time required for the necessary regeneration is also relatively limited at 5 to 6 days. The radiation exposure after the procedure is harmless to the patient's relatives. It roughly corresponds to the radiation exposure that a person experiences on a flight from Berlin to New York. After four to six weeks, a quality assurance check of the implant is performed. Using a CT or MRI, the actual dose applied in the prostate and the at-risk organs will be evaluated. In addition to the examination of the PSA progression, possible side effects and their treatment are also discussed during a regular follow-up exam. The intensity of possible side effects has been part of scientific research for years. It has been shown that negative side effects of LDR brachytherapy are very moderate. The healing success of the treatment has also been proven by numerous clinical data. Based on the PSA progression, it was possible to determine that a large majority of the treated patients survive without further tumour growth. The findings of the presented study suggest that in terms of the successful treatment of the tumour, brachytherapy provides superior outcomes in comparison to other treatment options. For the higher risk groups, the combination of brachytherapy with external radiation therapy has established itself as the international standard. In view of current and future developments, it is obvious that improved diagnostics will result in a far earlier detection of a prostate tumour and thus allows for the targeted use of radiation. Only the affected area is actively treated and the surrounding tissue without tumour cells is spared. Here is a summary of the advantages of LDR brachytherapy. A one-time, minimally invasive procedure. Use of modern diagnostics and a high-quality technology. The small range of radioactivity allows for a high dose in the prostate and minimal radiation exposure of adjacent organs, short anesthesia and quick physical recovery after the procedure, high recovery rates, quality of life is maintained thanks to moderate side effects, minimum radiation exposure of physicians and relatives. LDR is recommended as a therapy option in the guidelines of various associations, European Society of Urology, National Comprehensive Cancer Network, German Society for Urology, European Society for Radiology and Oncology. We would be pleased to provide you with information about the use of LDR brachytherapy in your area. We will gladly provide you more information about the form of therapy to you by phone or email.